All right. It is Monday. Oh, and it is one fuck of a Monday. I know that you were home today, but everything that broke at my office, including email and our website, happened. So fuck you, Monday. Mm. Rory decided to be up since 4 a.m. too, so that's good. We don't have that. So. Anyway. All right. So we're going to stay with the with the Christmas cookie kind of beers for the next couple of a uh, couple of drinks. Um, so we have had this beer ever since its inception back in 2017. So this will be its sixth year uh, at local brewery Sycamore Brewing. So this it is the 2022 version of their Christmas cookie ale. Okay, so it is their winter ale. It is a 7.5 percenter. They have this one, and they also have a barrel aged one. We have we're going to have as well. So. Uh, Sycamore is closed right now because they're moving uh, locations. I guess they just moved across the street. So it was quite the undertaking to find these beers. And so there's always some nonsense going on with Sycamore. You remember um, the year that we went? We would pre-ordered it. And, and they didn't have any to drink. They didn't have any on tap. Well, it was in the middle of COVID. So? So they had a they had bunch other of other shit, shit on, on tap, tap, but they had none of the Christmas cookies. So, Ridiculous. And that was the year that we got these these fun glasses. So we are going to drink them in these Sycamore glasses. And I think that well, yeah, it was, it was two years ago. And they do have the fun thing, you know, the gingerbread men with the uh, BDSM mask on. And mm-hmm. there's uh, some dildos and this some other nonsense. This year was a little low effort because it's like they took the things from prior years and then just Mixed found a way to. Together. Yeah. So this year, it's little elves with things on their little conveyor belt. But if you look at what they've wrapped up, there's a blow-up doll. There's a fleshlight. There's you know, a dildo. There's dildo a sub-penis pump. There's also like Very a scooter fun. and a guitar and things yeah. like that. So. But also, because the brewery is closed, they had two days of selling. That's it. So you could pre-order it and go pick it up at the brewery location. No, you couldn't now, pick it up. They would oh, deliver. They would deliver. That's right. So and you couldn't you had even to go be there. within their delivery radius. Right. So it was just in the Charlotte area, pretty much. Uh, but we missed it. So then they were like, okay, well, it's just going to be out there. So we saw a bunch of people. One of my coworkers, actually, who lives in, in Gaston County, in Gastonia, which is quite the drive from here, uh, picked it up at, at a uh, bottle shop or it was a restaurant or something. And I was not going to drive to Gastonia. And I saw another one, Belmont, reached out to Sycamore. Not driving to Belmont. And, uh, you know, they said, oh, DM us. We'll tell you where it's at. Well, we had already found it by the time they actually DM'd me. And they told me that it was at Total Wine, which is where we found it. And it was at some Harris Teeters uptown. And I guess because it's going to be at grocery stores, they don't want to have a bunch of dildos on the cans. The grocery stores probably like, wait, well, yeah, it's not really mm, in the spirit of Christmas. Mm, mm, Christmas mm, dildo, mm. probably not. People come here so, to buy chickens and stuff. Right, not look at uh, dildos on elves or whatever. So, But anyway, it's fun. They did get cited by the uh, ABC board the There's first the, year. Yeah, the ALE. A, yeah. They, well, that's the ABC board. Well, that's the law enforcement branch. Fine. They came and made them put stickers over all of the cans yeah. because they were a, a little sweater, too graphic. <laughs> they had a sweater pattern, and the deer were like blowing each other and sixty nineing and things. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, that's, one of these you are mistaken. It's not on that can. It's the other one. Oh, it's the it's the barrel aged can. Damn. All right. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, it was fun. So the every year besides the first year, the first year it just looked like um. It was a green can, looked like a Christmas tree. Yeah. But after that, they've had all these fun little things on here. So Sycamore continues to be mm-hmm. difficult. You know, they put out a lot of. There's too much talking here. Well, there is, but you know, Sycamore. They've had a real, lot of good beers over the years that they just stopped making. But this is one that that uh, has stood the test of time. Thankfully, we have it every year. This is like I said. Are, are you are you dripping it all on. over? Mm-hmm. I just missed it. Alcohol. Well, it's, these cups are kind of dumb. Well, yeah, the the not exactly beer drinking cups, but they're fun. They're what we got, you know, two years ago during that I release. Don't know how I have this much fun in my mouth? Well, I'm not going to be able to fit all this beer in this can. Oh wow! I'm going to taste mine from the top. Okay, so I can get a, the vanilla. There's a ton of cinnamon this year. Oh, a lot. A ton. Oh, that's very good. I don't remember good. it having that no, much no. in here. This could, I mean, really. This could be a pumpkin. It could be a pumpkin with the amount of, yeah, if it had more pumpkin it. in there. Yeah, damn right. Okay, there's a lot of cinnamon in this. It kind of makes me hopeful for the barrel age. The barrel age is always like too much. Yeah. It's like bathtub gin. Yeah, really it, you know, boozy, really so, syrupy. Well, really we got multiple four different. packs of these at Total One. We only got two because you can split up. So we just got two cans of the barrel aged because, man, last year with the barrel age when Suzanne was, wasn't I drinking, those things sat in the fridge forever. So, what well, you want to drink here? Drink out of my glass a little bit. I, I took a sip out of it's my different hand. when you pour it in a glass. 
I don't know. You fucked up that fork. Before. I don't know what I was doing. It, that, that is like half head. I don't know what I was doing. Half little sip. I don't know what I was doing. It, like I said, it's a fucking Monday. Fuck you, Monday. Monday sucks. I wasted like an hour of my day dealing with IT and email issues today, and I was so enraged by the end of it that I yelled at my dog. And I'm not even sorry. Mm. Like a lot of cinnamon. Lots of cinnamon. A lot of vanilla. This is delicious. Yeah. I'm a big fan of that. Mm, yeah. That's really good. Fuck. So. Mm-hmm. All right. Tiny bit of sweetness. A little bit. Nothing overboard. No. Um, it, it is much sweeter than the winter solstice we had yesterday. Um, and a hell of a lot more. And Cake is over here licking her damn feet. Whatever the fuck she's doing. Um, we've got the, the soundtrack. And go on. It's, mm-hmm. you know. Wonderful. We're, we're going to have an exciting review coming up because we got our Christmas present early. Oh, we got a cake writer. Oh, we unboxed that thing earlier. I thought about doing an unboxing, but I was like, you know, until we have a keg in there, nobody's going to give a shit about this. So it's going to be when we tap that keg. Anyway, so, all right, Sycamore. This is their Christmas cookie winter ale, mm-hmm. 7.5 percenter. It is made right here in Charlotte, North Carolina, and it is only locally. So if you're in the Charlotte area, great. Um, if you want some, you know, I guess you could hit me up. You know, they're around here still. We can pick some up. We're going to Florida you know, in a couple of weeks. So, you know, although when I brought my family members some beers a couple of years ago, they sat in a fucking fridge for months, and I ended up taking them back. Yeah. So, you know, whatever. I had more pumpkins. Mm-hmm. It was like two years ago. Or was it last year? It was last year. It was last year. With the abundance of pumpkins, you know. Yeah, since I couldn't so, bring them. Anyway, all right. So, again, Sycamore Brewing. The brewery's closed now, but they have a ton of other beers that are available year-round. And, you know, I'm not an IPA fan, but they do have some other ones that are pretty good. They had a cinnamon roll one and stuff like that. But they have a ton of IPAs. They're oversaturated with IPAs. So, if you don't like In IPAs, well... I would say that is the opinion of most beer drinkers. Usually they have one or two IPAs. The opinion of most beer drinkers? Did you take a poll? I'm speaking for them. Um, Well, I mean, listen, if you don't like IPAs, you might as well skip a Sycamore completely sometimes because that's all they got. Or they have beer-flavored beer. beer. That is not the case now. So if you're in the area, uh, apparently it's at the Harris Teeter up on Park Road. Mm -hmm. And it's a total wine. And it's some other places, but who knows? The total wine had 30 cases. They had a ton. Today. A ton of this kind, but not so much of the barrel age. You're looking for more they boozy. Got three cases of that one. Yeah. If you're looking for more boozy stuff, you know, you might want to, you know, hop on down there quick because they'll probably be gone. Get on it. Anyway. All right. That's a review. Cheers me. It's definitely time to have some dessert. Yes. Mm. That is really good. Mm. 